to Season 3, Episode 7 of One Man's Opinion. Today I am reviewing Iridson Playhouse's production of Richard Rodgers and Oscar Hammerstein II's The Sound of Music, directed by Jacqueline Hubbard, running through July 30th at the Playhouse at 103 Main Street in Iverton, Connecticut. Rodgers and Hammerstein's The Sound of Music is one of those musicals that, after nearly 65 years, has become sort of split in the grand opinion of the Broadway musical. You go up to a random person who knows musicals and asks them about The Sound of Music, more often or not, you're going to get either, I love that show, or, oh my god, I can't stand that show. A lot of this, I think, falls on the production these people saw. There are only a couple truly great Rodgers and Hammerstein film adaptations, and that doesn't help either if that's all people have seen. A great production of a Rodgers and Hammerstein show elevates the subtext of the show so that its deeper message is received by the audience. This is something a bit easier with The Sound of Music, as most of its themes are pretty much right in your face the entire time. Maria, played by Adrienne Hick, who is training to be a nun at a convent in Salzburg, Austria, is given orders by the Mother Abbess, played by Patricia Schumann, to be governess for the Von Trapp family, taking care of the seven children of Captain Georg von Trapp, played by David Pitzinger. The Third Reich is on the rise, and the Nazis are about to conduct the Anschluss takeover of Austria, and von Trapp refuses to give up his Austrian identity for the fascist Nazi regime. What has always been nice about The Sound of Music, and what I think gets lost often, is the various layers of political ideological identity throughout. From von Trapp's stringent anti-Nazi position to Rolf Gruber, played by Ian Christensen, who is an enthusiastic embracer of the swastika. Von Trapp's betrothed Elsa Schrader, played by Beverly J. Ricci, is a let the chips fall where they may and learn to live with what's given to you kind of person. And then there's Max Detweiler, played by R. Bruce Connolly, who starts the show as an opportunist, not caring for people's beliefs if they can potentially make him money. Thankfully, with Iverson Playhouse, these minutia of character are well-defined. It is apparent that Hubbard has taken care to develop the various political views characters can have, not necessarily endorsing the morally wrong ones, fleshing out the characters so they aren't one-dimensional in their motives. After nearly 65 years, there have been numerous adjustments that have been made to The Sound of Music, songs being moved around, some from the movie added to the stage versions, while other songs being removed, In this production, The Lonely Goat Herder is moved to Act 2, How Can Love Survive is cut, I Have Confidence is in, and Something Good has replaced an ordinary couple. Aside from The Lonely Goat Herder being moved to Act 2, these are changes I've been familiar and okay with. Frankly, I think The Lonely Goat Herder better sets in the first act, and I think it helps develop the softening of the captain and builds his relationship with Maria. If we're going to do a stage production where we use film content like we do here, I would have preferred to have the Act 1 version of Edelweiss included, which wasn't in the original version or in this version. I think it's an important moment in the show for the audience to see the captain begin to fall in love with Maria earlier, which is conveyed far better in the film. In this production, it doesn't start to show until the party at the Von Trapp home at the end of Act 1 when the captain dances with Maria. And that's a little late. I think that warmth and compassion for each other needs to start sooner. The performances are mostly good. All seven of the Von Trapp children are double cast, even Liesel, who is played by Bryn Martin and Lily McIntyre, which is fine. The one I saw the night I was in attendance was exceptional. I wish I knew which one it was, as I didn't see any program inserts or signs indicating which child cast was on stage that night. But the cast of children I saw were overall good, if a little off-key sometimes because one or two of the younger children were a little overly enthusiastic and are singing at times, which I can forgive as I found it kind of cute. Adrienne Hick, not to be confused with Adriana Hicks, was great as Maria, giving her the necessary fiery spirit of life and love. David Pitzinger stays a bit overly stoic as Captain Von Trapp. As I said earlier, I wish I saw him soften up a bit earlier on and the love coming over him and Maria happened a bit sooner. There's probably going to be some questioning about the apparent age gap between Hick and Pitzinger, though yes, it does look like the captain is old enough to be Maria's grandfather. I'll allow it in this situation, as the real Captain Von Trapp was 25 years older than the real Maria, which is about the same age range between the two actors. 
The supporting cast of nuns, led by Schumann, mostly nailed the choral numbers with a couple hiccups here and there. But there were some sound issues at that point in the show the night I was in attendance, so it may not be entirely their fault. I love the sound of music, and it deserves the respect it is due as one of the landmark pieces of musical theater. Ivoryton Playhouse has given us a mostly well-crafted production. Aside from the problems in developing Captain Von Trapp and Maria's relationship in the first act, this is a solid show and worth seeing. But I am only one man's opinion, so be sure to leave yours in the comments below. If you'd like to see The Sound of Music, I'll leave a link in the description. Thank you to all my patrons over on Patreon. Your support is much appreciated. If you'd like to become a patron, I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. You can also support my channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing, and click the notification bell to be alerted to future reviews. My next review will be Playhouse on Park's production of Bandstand. Thank you for watching, and I will see you at the theater.